Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. We just got the sobering tonic from the cook and went to give it to Silas, but then Silas has wandered off somewhere. So we gotta go find him. Soon, anyway. Not just yet, because I want to talk with the people here and make sure I mention the termite thing to everybody. Especially Rezia. Oh, whoops. I just took a carrot from somewhere. The termite's lair spreads far, unseen. Termites in the kitchen? Where, love? I'll have to have something done about that. Huh. Okay, so they're not in on it. They said if I come back later they might have something for me to do, but nothing yet. Let's try the guard. So we already asked that guard. Oh, uh, can I not ask them about it? Uh, listen, Buck, that whole thing, that's none of my business. Hmm. So they know about it, but... Sounds like they're not actually in on it. I make plenty with my games of chance. Why well, work harder than I need to? Okay. Alright, let's go try to find Silas. Where the heck could they be? I mean, they could be back where they originally, you know, normally are, but... Given that they just left and they're completely drunk. I don't know. <laughs> Where should I look? Then again, it's just right out there. Put in our thief costume. Yeah, it's just right here. I'll go check up there. Hmm. They're not here in the usual spot. However, the guard is gone and this door is open. Odd. Could they be upstairs? Oh. Ugh, it's you. Look, I've got something for you. Silas waves his sword at you, still in its scabbard. And I've got something for you. Here, drink this tonic to get some sleep can't sleep yet. Message is coming in. Need delivering. I'll deliver them. Don't fret. I will, can I? I know I got the book a long time ago, but I can't read it because it's in code. Silas takes the tonic bottle and pours its contents into the approximate region of his mouth. I'm sorry, Tilo. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. Hmm. So the problem with them sleeping there is that if I want to pass time, I need another bed. What did I just do? Did you see that? It's like I grabbed the, uh, it's like I grabbed the ledge as I was coming down. Huh. Didn't happen that time. Do I actually have a quest of any sort to transcribe the messages or anything? Oh right, I still need to report the crime of burning the banners to the commander. Hmm. No? I guess I just need to find a bed. Okay, I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and speak with the commander before I forget. I've also just slept so I can go speak with Silas now. Uh, before that though, the termite's lair spreads far unseen. And at its center dwells the queen. Well, we found another one of the smugglers, huh? Scow, I'm surprised. I suppose the master wants his tithe. Here. The rat presses something into your paw. A small key. I've left it in the same place as usual. My footlocker. Hmm. Oh, right, I still need to talk to him about seeing the commander. Uh, wait, what? Get on now, Scow. B but but what? Huh. I guess I have to come back later. Huh. How much later? Can I just walk away and come back? All right. 
I guess I made a mistake choosing that option first. Alright, Silas. Tilo. Good morning. Tilo. I've been looking out for your scaps. I think they've taken a liking to you. How you feeling? Awful. I've not been that sauced since... Well... You made the tonic? The cook. It was much appreciated. Tilo. In the commissary. I said some things I shouldn't have. Aye, you did. I hope you can forgive me. What was it you were looking for in that bottle? <laughs> That's a delicate way of phrasing it. You sang a murder of crows to me before. Do you remember? Please, sing it again. Uh, alright? Don't hold back. Your version is tamer than the one I know. The pups in my village used to sing it. I remember I thought it was funny. I liked the way the words rhymed. I didn't realize they were singing it to me. Not until my Oma chased them off with her stick. It's the Oma? My share responsibility for raising their young with other members of their village. Oma literally means second mother in the mouse folk's tongue. don't understand. I was raised in a village in Northern Meridia. By mice. Huh. You were raised by mice. I Was I not clear? <laughs> you were clear, yes. Oh, that explains the Lutkas. So that is Silas's Lutka's, then, probably? Lutka from your footlocker. My Uma's, carved by her late husband. Well, crap, I'm sorry I took them. I mean, I gave them back, but like, I'm sorry I took them in the first place. Your birth parents? What of them? Oh, I often wondered about them. Who were they? What became of them? Uma might have had some gray in her coat. Her memory wasn't what it once was, but she told me what she could. All the same. It wasn't enough. And then on the day I left for Yuva, Silas opens his paw to reveal the finely engraved silver band he'd sh uh, shown you at the brazier's side. Uma gave me the silver ring. From your true mother, she said. That must have been hard for your Uma to say. I was so angry with her for keeping it from me. I should have known it was for my own good. I don't understand. How did that first ring lead you here? It didn't. A few months before my discharge from the Rat Guard, I found a second silver ring. And you found others, the ring Gusto and Fatali stole. 
I have eight now, all told. Eight rings in the silver scroll case. The scroll case, the puzzle. What was it you found in there? A message from my father. The rat hands you a scroll of parchment, brittle with age. Here, read it. This is turning into quite the mystery. Prayer scroll. Master of the Salamander, I offer you this ring, relic of noble kings of old. May you accept it in tribute to your grace and as a promise to return what I have took this day. Warden of the Flame, Guardian of Lost Hope, grant me courage to persevere and strength enough to prevail. For my kingdom, my kind. For Brindis, my one true love. And Silas, my firstborn son. Signed, R. Wait, were there multiple pages? No. Well, Tilo, what say you? This message, it's from your father. I. It's a prayer? I, to the hero, Doinlin. Uh, so, you mean... I. My father was Roderick, the last Rat King. I couldn't remember their name, but yeah, I was thinking that they were born from noble, a noble family, basically. Hmm. I understand now why your mother hid you away. Shame? No, if the Red Paw thought there was an heir to the throne, the barons would have had me killed. I know. You're Roderick's son. That, that makes you a prince. No. No, it makes me the son of a coward. So what now? Would you reclaim your throne? <laughs> My throne. <laughs> the mongrel son of the coward king. I'm sure the barons would glad gladly give up their power to so noble an heir. Besides, the Singing Stone is lost. The what? The Singing Stone of the Rat Kings, or the Stone of Ascension, is a carved jet black piece of rock, about the size of a rat's clenched fist. Its origin is lost even to legend, but its importance is known to all. The heirs of a rat king are not assured the right of succession. Any rat may challenge for the right to hold the stone. It is said that the stone will sing the praises of the future monarch, if they are indeed worthy. But the stone has been lost. Some think Roderick took it with him as he fled, in order that no usurper could steal the throne in his absence. Others, however, believe that the barons of the Red Paw have buried the stone, so they might rule the rat lands unopposed. So that's why you're sauced. Wouldn't you be? Silas's tail sparks something in you. You hum to yourself the first few notes of a new lay. The Ballad of the Orphan Prince. Well, now that's enough about me, don't you think? How goes it with you? Oh no, we're not done yet. Hmm. <laughs> uh, about your father the king, I would have him. What was it your father took from the tombs? Whatever it was, he swore to return it. I guess he didn't keep his word. Will you keep searching for your father's treasure now? Why? I found what I was looking for. Curious about your birth parents. Do you remember anything of your birth mother? Just vague impressions. And a lullaby she used to sing to me. Your mother's lullaby. May I hear it? I've not much of a voice, but...
that's all that I remember of it. It's very beautiful. Like mother, by all accounts. Your mother, who was she to your Uma? Uma had been my mother's nursemaid years before. She told me mother was a doe of great piety. Piety, piety. Man, it's called piety. What became of your birth mother? Who can say? I don't even know her full name. How did you come to be in your Uma's care? My mother had come to the village one night, unannounced and in a panic. She begged Uma to take me in. I would have been no more than a few weeks old. It was the last time Uma saw her. Okay, so that's all the stuff about their birth parents. Uh, perhaps this isn't important right now, but... Oh, the termite's lair. <laughs> um, it's kind of a weird time to say it, but okay. And at its center dwells the queen. Tilo, what have you gotten yourself caught up in? You're part of the band of smugglers? No, I don't think they are. They just, uh, given what they hear, I'm sure they just know. I'm not sure. Yet. I would leave this all well alone if I were you, Mouse. Do you think I want to be doing this? I have orders from the commander. Why didn't you come to me with this before now? I was warned not to trust anybody, remember? Alright, alright. Give me a moment, let me think. You know Taurus Harem is a part of it. That's one. And you took his place as Faustus's assistant, so you're a part of it now. Are you going to turn yourself in? Aye, and I'll take you down with me. Listen, just be careful, Mouse. I'm sorry I can't help you more. Hmm. Yeah, I've inherited the identity of someone who's one of the smugglers. Hmm. There's something I don't understand about the rings. Why are these rings so important? What are they? They're the famed tail rings of the Rat Kings, a record of succession going back to the time of the Green Flame. I never understood their significance, why they'd been left with the Wardens of the Green Flame. Not until I opened the scroll case you found. The second ring, how did you find it? It's not a short tale. Are you sure you want to hear it? Yes. Alright. I was assigned to a convoy, escorting the Baroness from Pesa to the capital. On the fourth night, we made camp at the Temple of Karim. Wardens of the Green Flame. The heroes of the Battle of Periclave were laid to rest in twelve great tombs, arranged in a vast circle on the southeastern edge of Lake Valia, symbolically watching over the place where the Green Flame fell. In the centuries since, many of the tombs have fallen into disrepair, or collapsed entirely. Others have been fortified to establish a line of defensive keeps along the shore. The names of all but four of these heroes have been lost to time, but their deeds are celebrated still, in songs and works of art. It's from these sources that the four greatest are known. Doinlin, the Guardian of Lost Hope, Karim, the Guardian of Travelers, Yarlin, the Guardian of Music, and Nikto, the Guardian of the Wind. Oh, wait, so that's that building that I can't get inside of in the forest, right? The Temple of Karim? Karam? The Guardian of Travelers. I was ordered to escort the Baroness to the reliquary so she could offer Karim her prayers. And it was there that you found the second ring. That's right. A ring almost identical to my mother's, hung on a chain around Karim's neck. They're almost identical? The design engraved on the second ring was different. It made me wonder if there weren't more of them waiting to be found. And so there were. It's hard to believe. <laughs> Look, I'm not one for superstition, but there it is. In time, I learned that other rings had been discovered in the tombs and temples of the Wardens of the Green Flame. Some had been stolen, some lost. It's taken me years to track them down. 
So you were discharged from the Rat Guard. Why? I'd served five years. My time was almost up, but soldiering somehow came easily to me. It was something I was good at, so I re-enlisted. Besides, the Red Paw has access to places civilians can't go. It's how I found the second ring. Okay, uh, about your early years... Oh, so because they were raised by mice, that's why they can speak Meridian. Is Meridian like the language of mice? It's my native tongue, Meridian. Um, yeah, the language of the mice. Do you stay in touch still with your Uma? No, uh, no, she's been gone some years now. I just couldn't yet bring myself to blacken her Lutka. Ah. So, as a pup, you didn't know you were a rat? I was a bit slow back then. You were just a pup. I was already a good head taller than the other pups, and stronger too. Well, what is it they say? Rat pups grow fast, and mice pups grow quick. How'd you come to join the Rat Guard? On the day I became a buck, I received conscription papers from the Red Paw. I won't lie, the first few months weren't easy. <laughs> My accent didn't help. Accent? I don't hear it. I worked hard to lose it. It doesn't pay to stand out around here. Okay, I think that's everything except for Mera. Yes, okay. Silas, Mara wasn't aboard the ship. She'd given up her place to another. Aye. You might have said something about it in the commissary. Do you know the name of the doe who took Mara's place? Pharaoh. Mara gave her place to a doe named Pharaoh. Did you get her family name? Uh, no, but she had a son named Tam. Tamlin. Does that help? No, it's not enough. I can't send out a scap without the full name. Else Yuva is going to start asking questions. Hmm. What about the ship the Doe was meant to be on? Do you know its name? She was aboard the Rathskellen Rathske out of Port Scarn. The Rathskellen. Tilo. Will you fetch my logbook? It's on the table downstairs. Um, yes. I have fetched it. Mice are very quick and I totally didn't steal it days before. You stole my logbook? I... I thought you might need it? Come on, give it to me. Alright, let's see. The signal rat opens the log and runs a claw down the page. Here, part of a general news dispatch received on the 13th. Go on. Tilo. The Rathskellen was reported lost, and the Cloak of Paraclave. Uh. Should I read you the entire message? Yes, would you? I need to hear it. Listen. On the twelfth day, the Rathskellen, crewed by nine, laden with sundries and carrying twenty-seven prisoners, was reported late by the harbor master at Orondus. The vessel was last seen by the bosun of the Emerald Hind. Off course and heading into the Cloak of Paraclave. And so is pronounced lost. Tilo, I know you don't want to hear it, but Mara's gone. I'm sorry, but she's still alive. I'm sure of it. Even if she were alive, there's no way for us to trace Mara now. May as well ask a magpie. I think I know where to find one. Magpies and knowledge. Among magpies, knowledge is a commodity and a currency, prized above all else. Each fragment of information gathered is carefully evaluated for its relative worth. Rumors, tall tales, even fiction, all have some value. Indeed, rumors can be most valuable of all, rough fragments of knowledge that can be polished up and passed on at a higher price. 
Even single words can have a value, given context. Some magpies mine raw information to sell on, while others will break up individual sentences into more valuable parts and pass them on. These magpies are known in the trade as liars. The knowledge of magpies is prized greatly, as they are considered to be the custodians of absolute truth. Indeed, such value is placed upon their counsel that only heads of state and nobility can afford it. Whoa. I didn't know there was such a heavy, like, lore associated with magpies. I assume that's the giant magpies, like the one we saw that, uh, broke the chest? Down in the catacombs? That's really neat. I think I know where to find one. A magpie? You're gonna get yourself killed. Besides, magpies will only speak with noble creatures and kings. Oh, noble creatures, Silas. You mean, like, yourself? To them, anything less is a meal. <laughs> then I shall become a king? Uh... Perhaps, but what choice do I have? Assemble a costume fit for a king. Here, then. Silas hands you a scarlet tunic finished with gold piping and fine beadwork. Oh. A gift from my father. It's incredible. Oh, uh, thank you. It's truly beautiful. I hope you make a worthier king than he ever was. So, did they just give me a part of it? Or the entire thing? Just the tunic, okay. The beadwork on the tunic is beautiful, befitting of a true king. So where am I going to find the rest of this? I would need to find, surely, like some completely unexplored area. Uh, we have a quest for it now, right? Yes. I need a fine pair of pantaloons, a beard, fine pair of stockings and shoes, and a king's crown. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's everything to talk about. Go find that magpie, go. Uh, not just yet. It will eat me. Will it literally eat me if I, like, if I go to try to speak with it without the costume? Is it actually gonna eat me? It's so big it honestly could probably eat me in one gulp. Scary thought. Hmm. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return... I'm gonna go try to finish up that quest with speaking with the commander and reporting the burnt flags. Just to get that out of the way. And then after that... I'm not quite sure. I guess search for the royal clothes. <laughs>